Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another episode of Half a Clue TV. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about the number one show on Netflix, the biggest streaming platform of all time. A show that a, a platform that shows no signs of slowing down. That's not true at all. Yeah, no. Um, but the show, the show has no signs of slowing down. No, yeah. it's become a powerhouse, a staple. A social phenomenon. A TikTok trendsetter. It is Stranger Things. Season 4. Or sorry. Stranger Things 4. Volume 2. So, yeah. yeah. All right. So, here we go. So, yeah. How many of you guys have been listening to Kate Bush this past week? Constantly. Oh. Uh, Rose? Mm. You've been playing Kate Bush a lot. I have been playing <laughs> Kate Bush. It gets stuck in my head. And then also it plays on the radio now, like on stations where you wouldn't expect it to be playing just because everyone yeah. wants to hear that damn song. Yeah, for yeah. real. Like it comes up all the time now. Now it's like, oh, guess what? To, yeah, whatever. Every station. There's on oldies. It's on like, quote unquote, alternate rock stations. You it, know it's now on like Kiss FM. That yeah. was crazy. That's, yeah, crazy. that's crazy. Yeah. I hope Kate Bush is getting so much money right now. Yeah. She she had like a good quote talking about it afterwards. Or really? She, yeah, she said something along the lines but of But she liked like, that the, it got like new life because of this like what Exactly. Happened. Yeah. Yeah. I've I mean, I've seen some people complaining that they're like, oh, Zoomers are getting <laughs> like fuck? getting used to it. It's like what the fuck? To be fair, I feel like that song in particular kind of fits our time. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, are you depressed and trying to find a reason to live <laughs> to live and keep going through life and keep, you know, uh, going up that incline? Or there's probably a better way to say that. <laughs> it's, it's weird because like, that song was like, um, at least like when, when I was still in college, it was like that song was only listened to by like emo boys or girls or like hipster, yeah. hipster people. <laughs> and yeah. then like we would just like all go in a corner, smoke a little, you know, tush. And then, and then be like listening to Kate Bush, but now it's like uh, it rhymes. But yeah, Bush. I know, I know. I didn't want to just say it just in case we get flagged. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but now it's uh, now it's like super mainstream. It's weird to me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, but it's fine. It's like I I like when like you know songs like like Guardians or something will bring yeah. back a song like a, a somewhat obscure like you know pop song or like rock song from and the give it the recognition it deserves yeah like it just blows up like it's funny like uh yeah i mean the list goes on of other songs we can do that but anyway now Stranger we're things. To, yes the Volume show two. and this time um if we pick up right after the last episode where we find out that vecna is zero zero one also you know fucking henry yeah and what oh my uh -huh. gosh and now we get two Super size episode one being an hour and a half and the other one being two and a half hours, both feature film length episodes. And first off the bat, before we get into the episode, do you guys feel like they justify the extended runtime for both episodes? Yes. And do you guys like this part one, part two releasing? Personally, I do like it. I, I think a Stranger Things is they're one of the first ones to really just drop all their their like episodes at once, right? Yeah, it's them and like House of Cards. There's pretty much any Netflix yeah Netflix shows, yeah. shows and stuff. But I think it, it, it as they as the Duffer Brothers kept saying from the first one that they were like, oh, it's meant to be like one long movie essentially, yeah. right? They're like it's one giant movie. Uh, but this past season felt like extra big. Obviously, the yeah. runtime was longer than ever before. So it, it felt like, yeah, like a kind of natural, like volume one, part one, part two kind of thing where it's like, here's the first half and then they close out with like the grand finale. So it was okay. I will say that I think volume one felt a little too bloated at times, yeah but there's a lot of stuff that I was like, I don't know if we need all of this yes. right now. Like it kind of feels like it's moments. It felt like it dragged a bit, but I think part two or volume two was really kind of closing in tying up a lot of those loose ends and everything. And it felt like it definitely needed all that extra time to like, you know, resolve the 900 different storylines. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, the return of the King style yeah. the endings where it just keeps going. I know people complain about that, but I like that. No, there's no, I, I never <laughs> had a problem with the return of the King ending. It's like, it, yeah, that's what it means to be satisfying. You know, yeah. You it's like, everything. it's this mega saga. It needs a lot of shit to like wrap it up. So it's the same thing, you know, otherwise we end up with fucking game of Thrones. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was just funny because they said season five when we get to future speculation, they said it's going to take 
heavy inspiration from Return of the King. Yeah, yeah, I saw <laughs> that too. I was like, oh gosh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's gonna be funny watching that. All right, so episode eight, like I said, we pick up right uh, right where we left off episode seven uh, after we find out, you know, the identity of Vecna and also Nancy being captured by Vecna, right? Yeah. But in shocking twist of events, Vecna doesn't kill Nancy, but just uses her as like kind of a proxy warning to Eleven and everybody else of what will yeah. happen. You know, I want you to tell Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm, that actor is so good. I, I love that guy. Oh, no. What were you going to say, Rosie? Oh, I was going to say, like, I'm kind of, like, super relieved that Nancy got released and she wasn't one of the four victims. Because, yeah. like, there was a lot of, I don't know. Unresolved yeah, stuff with stuff her. Yeah, stuff with Barb. And st- it's like, I thought she was past that. I thought she was, you know, yeah, better yeah. and healing and dealing with it. So it's kind of a relief that they weren't just, like, Nancy's been depressed this whole time. Yeah, yeah. No, they 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 did a decent job of just like, yeah, just not retreading that. Really, Thank they're God. just like, here we go again. Here's just boom. Here's just a a, a few of the future. Or she's traumatized, so Perm- she's a good messenger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, that was one of my complaints of like when we talked about the last review. I was like, oh my god, they're retreading the justice for Barb thing. But yeah, like this is like almost as if. They heard the. I mean, I. I it, it seems. I hope this was part of the plan. But it yeah. seemed like they were really like. Apparently, they were. Um, the visual effects was finished twenty four hours before the premiere. Yeah, they like literally wow. uploaded to the server. Like they just finished rendering. Oh my so, god! So they were really Jeez. working to like the last minute. So I was. I'm kind of curious, like how much you know those like response or plans or how much they changed after the response. Yeah. yeah. It could just be like art is never finished. You know. So yeah. I just. Yeah, finalize a, it as much as possible. Yeah, there's that thing where people just always want to refine things. Sometimes it can go too far, right? And then you end up like with something that's just uh, unrecognizable. Oh, but you were gonna say the guy that plays Vecna. Oh yeah, no, he was. I think he was like great. I mean, this one, I give major props to the fact that um, what's it called? Like, I thought like because he he said he had to be on the he had to it took eight hours for them to apply the the makeup and stuff. That's insane. Yeah, but then that's he, a half day. Yeah, and he apparently like he shot like at least. Uh, eight to ten hours afterwards Oof. yeah and then he had a lot of scenes in these yeah. last two episodes no i was really surprised i thought that that's what like i guess like what you're saying it's like i thought they were just gonna just show him a little bit and just because yeah. practically speaking that's a lot to demand of an actor but he was willing to do it and he was crushing all of his scenes every time that he was stepped on it was intimidating oh, and yeah. creepy and yeah yeah good for him because i feel like this is probably one of his biggest oh yeah yeah, like this like, is what? monumental. Like, I mean, for him. no, he did like Immortal Bones and stuff. yeah, like yeah, he had, a, he had, a, then, he yeah. had a couple of false starts, like Immortal Bones, like he's gonna be the next star, not. Nah. And then he <laughs> was like King Arthur on Showtime with Eva Evergreen. He's gonna be the next star, not. Nah. Just kidding. Yeah, and this one, I, yeah, he he is. I think he will. Yeah, yeah. completely unrecognizable. <laughs> 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 but still, he he's, yeah. he lends his his presence and his like, acting chops taking a shower after that oh oh dude oh. i your skin must be fucked <laughs> I, I, I was watching a behind the scenes scene where like they showed the actors like they, they look like they were just uh i mean imagine they're shooting a lot of like overnights and a lot of like yeah. dark uh, like you know a lot of like there's a lot demanding of these actors physically and mentally right like emotionally and there's a scene where the the actor who plays uh eddie i forget his name Oh, oh, Eddie Munson's Eddie. character, right? That guy, he's uh, played by um, Joseph Quinn. Joseph, Joseph Quinn. Quinn. Yeah, we need Irish more dude. Joseph Quinn. Where you see Joseph Quinn in the in the makeup chair, like before he puts on like the wig and everything. Joseph Quinn. That name sounds familiar. It does. It does. I'm yeah, sure. I, have, I forgot where he's from. I know he's <laughs> probably from indie stuff or whatever. Yeah, probably. He's been around. Hold on. Uh, but him, like he's like in the makeup chair. And he's just like, uh, he just looks exhausted <laughs> and he's just, they're just putting a wig on him. And it's like, I can't imagine everyone else. And then Joe Keery walks by and he's like, Hey buddy, like you get any sleep? <laughs> and then Joe just like taps his shoulders. Like, uh, also <laughs> looks exhausted. <laughs> it's like, man, I, I just imagine that they're just, they're really getting rung through with all these, uh, these big, big set pieces and stuff that right. they've been building towards. Um, but yeah, I don't know. F- so far volume two also, it just, it, Cured a lot of the issues I had with Volume One. With yeah. Volume oh, One, yeah, yeah. made 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 the storylines feel more relevant and connected. Yeah, like yeah. they did their best, I think, to kind of uh, like weave together the Russian plot yes. with the main plot. <laughs> but even then, it it's still it's, uh, yeah. it felt very forced. It felt very stretched. Yeah, like the reasoning <laughs> behind it, the hive mind uh, plot device. Yeah, which we'll get more into the last episode, like the actual thing. But I was like, 
Yeah, it was, it was pretty stretched. Um, but you know, it was nice to see this fucking r- in, in episode eight. It was nice to see um, Jop. Like I know the name is Jopper, um, Hopper, and Joyce. Uh, Joyce. Oh yeah, the, 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 the Jopper. Team Jopper. Team Jopper. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Because it was just like super obvious that they would have like because their chemistry from season one has always been yeah. pretty great. Yeah, and it took four seasons to get there. I mean, Sean Astin was a mini break. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, season two. He had oh died. god. <laughs> yeah. Poor Bob. So sad. But it was yeah, it was nice to see them finally, you know, like consummate, you know, their love for each other, kind of. Yeah. You know, kiss, yeah, kiss along. At least they kissed. You yeah. Don't. I mean, I'm sure no one's watching this that hasn't already seen it, but there's no consummation. No, no, no. <laughs> it's oh, yeah. not that good. I got interrupted show. by a phone call. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but no, yeah, it's, it's, that's, that was like their best attempt to kind of weaving that together. But I was like, eh, it's all right. And then we get, I mean, there's, there's a lot that happens, honestly. Yeah. Uh, we see the psycho bully guy, um, come in and just r- mess things up. But at the same time, also kind of, uh, he kind of like saves or not, doesn't save. What am I talking about here? He ends up getting his comeuppance where he gets ripped apart by the portal too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah don't nice. be a psychopath <laughs> yeah that was really nice when seeing that i was it, it, it was really nice seeing that and the satanic panic like uh element that they were trying to do yeah with, from the beginning that was a good payoff um and and for the fact that he he did add that extra element of uh danger to the uh, you know the ninth episode particularly but i did like that i did like that that was really well done i think yeah yeah and the actor killed it the actor who played it the psycho bully guy. Oh, yeah. you mean Dade? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Dade! If you're listening to this, I don't know you that well. He, uh, Ron does. This but. guy looks so much like uh, Dade. Is this is dude he, that yeah. Ron works with? Yeah, yeah. He looks a lot like him. <laughs> it was distracting at time. Like Dade, why is he so mad? But like, yeah. Dade, how could you? I've never seen you angry before. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get when someone's happy all the time. They break. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 he's such a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> total opposite. Yeah, this is what happens if if he were to ever get angry, he'd lead a uh, satanic panic cult. So ultimately, people don't fuck with Dade. Thank you for <laughs> yeah. tuning in. Yeah. Have a great day. Yeah, thanks, Dade. Yeah, if you for some reason are listening to this, was, anyway. <laughs> uh yeah no and also we get the nice resolution of like just seeing all the the people come together which is something i really hope carries over to the next season it's not like all right guys we all gotta split up again it's like jesus christ it's like just stay together everybody because that like even even having mike and jonathan and will's storyline uh actually intertwine with uh with Eleven's in a pretty satisfying way. Yeah, for the most part. Where I was like, what the heck are they going to do to like possibly help this situation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's like, oh, they're just there for a ride and that's really all we needed and good enough. Yeah. <laughs> it, good it, enough. It, 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 it providing the last power of love emotional. <laughs> yeah, all that too, yeah, That's yeah. the second Through time the after heart. Kenobi. The power <laughs> of love has been used to win against the main villain. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> So. I will say, it, yeah, I did have one of the dumber lines in the series so far. You're the like, heart. Will, you know, Mike, don't forget. You're the heart. You're the heart. It's like, okay, I get it. He's a support class. But like, yeah, still, exactly. man, yeah. come uh, on, he's, dude. he's having his staff and providing emotional buffs. Yeah. Speaking of Mike being the heart and Will cheering him on to cheer Eleven on, uh, what did you expect the painting to be? Because it was not at all what I expected. N- no. no, I, I thought no, it was going to be... Uh, I guess like his confession to Mike in some way to show his feelings. Although we did kind of get that. Yeah, we did. We did. It that. was just a little bit more uh, subtle. Yeah. Subtle. <laughs> subtle. <laughs> which, <laughs> which is weird. Apparently like I was um, just because they, they were on like I think this podcast Oh, I know. When we get into um, Millie Bobby Brown, like near the end, like they threw some shade at Millie Bobby Brown, the Duffer Brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah. really? Yeah, it was like it was not. It was it was it was kind of like a heated podcast. You're gonna wait to tell us that? Oh, you know, fuck it. I'll just say it now because come on, because they were like happy. I think it's a happy, sad, confused podcast. Just like from film film critic, and they had the Duffer Brothers on for like an hour to talk about Stranger Things season four. And one of the things, uh, just with this stuff, they said the Will's confession. Um, I guess they never they didn't directly said it. Um, they said that when they wrote it, they didn't mean to like they never directly said like the homosexuality thing. But they were like, we didn't directly mean it, uh, write it in a way that everyone thinks we're writing it. But then Noah Schnapp, the actor, 
like played it in a way where it's like both ways. Got it. Yeah, and added that. So I don't know if like they're Thank gonna God. suddenly change yeah. like course correct and like make Will gay. I mean, he just seems like he seems like yeah, he has feelings for Mike. Yeah, it yeah. seemed that way since season, season one. one. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah, it wasn't if Will didn't have feelings for Mike? I feel like there would be so much missing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like really the only thing they're giving Will. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. it's like he's not having much to do this. Yeah, he's not zombie boy two. anymore. Yeah. So now he's sexually frustrated. BFF. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is, you know, it's fine. But I would Great. still want a little bit more, more for, for him to do. He's but. a talented actor, too. Dude, I think like he was one of, out of the kids. He's probably one of the better ones. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Like his his scene with that, he was crushing it. He was yeah. crushing it emotionally. I was like, it was awesome. It's beautiful. One of the many times I've teared up. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Yeah, and that's another thing. This I also like that these last two episodes pulled out my heart string, heart heart strings, <laughs> heart strings a lot more than the first uh, first uh, volume. Yeah, where I, I like I was pretty scathing when our, in our last video. I thought soulless, emotionless. Um, but in this one, like I, it felt a lot more heartfelt. And then I in, like the actors delivered a lot more. And then the emotional payoff for these storylines were a lot better, especially yeah. the will thing. That was dope. Yeah, and except the Mike, you're the heart. <laughs> the the biggest one, obviously, I think has to be. Well, it was like simultaneously, Max is dying. Yeah. Um, who again, I'm going to argue, I think she should have died. I think she should have just died there and stayed dead. It would have been really sad. It would have showed a lot more consequence. Ooh, I should, I'm, I'm going to disagree with you because I think there's a, cause in, when we go to uh, season five speculations. Okay. In okay. terms of theories and stuff. Well, I'm just saying, as of right now, felt like she should have just died. Yeah. Uh, she's in a coma. We'll see what happens. But that was that's my idea. And then, of course, the biggest one is poor... Poor Eddie Munson. Eddie. Eddie Munson. Oh, dude, going out like a boss, though. Most metal oh, yeah. ever. Dude, yeah, I was. <laughs> dude, Puppets of Masters, right? That's what he played, right? Oh, this like fucking great. Dude, when he when he was playing on that, I was immediately like, okay, he's the best character of this new season. I, I was trying to speculate. I was like, okay, what song is he going to be blasting right now? Because like he's going to be playing something metal, of course. And then I was like, Iron Maiden could be Fear of the Dark. He could be doing something from, I don't know, like, it's like, what, what could he be like reaching into, like pulling out something from maybe Megadeth? I don't know. But then in Master of Puppets, I was like, They're Master of Puppets. Perfect. Yeah. That was perfect. Because, yeah, yeah, because like, you know, Vecna, like controlling the situation. Yeah. It was just amazing. It was High great. Line. It was great. Oh, gosh. And then, and and, then, and, 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 and it was satisfying his, his death for the most part, like his arc of like, you know, being yeah. a coward to standing up at the end for Dustin. Yeah, yeah, that was. I like couldn't help but like tearing up and looking to Ron and explaining to him what was happening while we were watching (laughs) it. I was like, he didn't run away. Yeah, "Hmm." seriously, heartbreaking. Should they have killed Eddie? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was hard. You know the the thing is, it sucks because like out of all the characters to kill, I wish they actually killed season more season one characters. Yeah, yeah, because because all the season none of the season one characters like. Obviously, you can't kill Elle. She's like the linchpin of the show. Yeah. Yeah. But like, let's be honest, like Mike, even Will. Will if you kill Lucas. Mike, you're opening up a door to Evil Eleven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. That could oh, be fun. Why not, fun. dude? Uh, Vecna, the next season, he's like, oh, okay. So I got to kill Mike. Lucas? So the, like, I think Lucas could probably die. Will could die. Okay, it sounds Jonathan messed could up. die. <laughs> dude, Jonathan could die. Yeah. He barely did anything this season. It's oh, like, yeah. It, it feels like... I mean, but bring Argyle. Char- there's certain characters. Uh, I mean, we might as well just move into season five speculation now, right? Oh, I mean, well, we we haven't even got to we haven't even finished episode eight, the Brenner stuff. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah let's oh, let's finish that. So, wait, how do we feel like? Um, how how, uh, how do we feel about how they resolve the Brenner storyline? For the most part, I'm pretty satisfied. I think like to yeah. show his true ca- cards and colors that there's no way he did this for altruistic reasons or actual care. No, no, no. He was, and then and then the reveal that he was trying to do this to connect to. Uh, one slash Henry the entire time from all the way season one. Yeah, that was great. But how much do you think that was planned ahead of time, or it was just retroactively added? Oh, that wasn't planned at all. I don't think no, <laughs> he was dead. Yeah, like I, I think that th- that again, it was one of those issues I had in the first part where I was like, they brought back Doctor Brenner. Oh no, I think that Why? one that one was purposely planned, like because like they never yeah. showed his death, and they also they for the longest time they said you know Matthew Moody was coming back. 
Yeah. Yes, that one. But I was okay I'm just with. saying, I had an issue with it when he did come back because I was like, I thought like he should have probably stayed dead. I was you like, just want everyone to die. <laughs> I just thought that he could have. He, he should have probably stayed dead. It was just like, what? What more do we really have to get from that story? But I think they did a great job of like, yeah, adding all the of, missing details and yeah, stuff, adding all that stuff in there, it, tying it all together, all the seasons together a little bit better. Um, yeah, really showing that the real overarching monster this entire time was Vecna, but also for sure Doctor Brenner. Brenner, the humans. Yeah. And what do you think about the military threat? Because honestly, I thought they were going to take a they were going to play more of a role in the ninth episode, considering how much damage they did in Volume One. Yeah. And uh, but no, they I were mean, there for they, I don't after, know. Yeah. Yeah. A scene. I mean, they had their whole like really cool scene where they're like just go, storming through the the hallway, right, just yeah. boom, 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 just mowing through all of the people and everything. And then of course picking off the doctors and then eventually Dr. Brenner. So that was really cool. They're pretty intimidating yeah. and effective. So and I they disappeared after that. I, I was like, the, I was surprised that they didn't go to Hawkins or anything or, I mean, right? I feel like they probably are right. Like it's not over yet. Like I, I would oh, no, I mean, it's not over, but just in terms of the season, like yeah. I felt a little underutilized, you know, at least then like it just like without explaining too much. Right. Yeah. Or at least ha- like have the commander get a call from, uh, his higher ups or something like that. There's another thing they have to deal with. So it's like little season five T's. Yeah, maybe that that that'd have been cool. I, I just felt like I was kind of glad that they they had that moment. And then Eleven does the whole you know, oh the helicopter, helicopter thing, was great. thing, and then that was just kind of it because I was like I don't really know where you kind of f- squeeze them in to like the final episode and stuff yeah. like in That's those moments. Fair. Or at least even them showing up at Hawkins like after the earthquake. Yeah, yeah, and then and like because they're probably they because they were probably heading there afterwards, right? Yeah, yeah. just and then just them noticing the damage and stuff like that, and then like the look on the commander's face, like maybe Owens was right, right? Yeah, like, even that would maybe, been or he thinks he's even more right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, or like and see it, like see just how that play. Like even that, like would have been satisfying for me for them to be so absent in the last episode. Yeah, it's not even mentioned. Like straight up, that guy like raided um, Joyce's house. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. fair. Get the Duffer Brothers on the phone. I know. Oh yeah, the Duffer Brothers. Oh yeah. Let's um. Any anything more you guys want to talk about the last episode? Okay, that montage. By the way, at the end, the final climax. Uh, you know, cutting back to the ABC storyline of, um, you know, uh, Nancy, who for some reason can't shoot at the head. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god! They, they, they've shown how she's a good shooter since the first episode. So yeah, I, I mean the first. And season. then she's like, I won't miss. It's mm. yeah. Nancy. You missed yes. twice. Yeah, you technically missed. three. Maybe times. you three shouldn't times. have sawed that off, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like Lucas versus um Lucas versus the uh the jocks. Yeah. And then um and then it was uh what's it called? Eleven versus Vecna. The power of love. Uh, you're the <laughs> okay. Whatever than that, but it was a satisfying moment. And also um uh what's it called? Nancy and uh Nancy Steve and um Ethan Hawk's daughter. I keep on forgetting a <laughs> uh, Robin. Is that uh, Ethan Hawke's daughter? Yeah, that's Ethan Hawke's daughter. Shut Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman's daughter. Yeah. Up? Are you joking? Yeah. No. Yeah. How have I not known this this whole time? Yeah, it's no crazy, wonder right? she's so lovable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, that makes sense. Um, yeah. So. What? Yeah, it's. I know. <laughs> it was crazy, right? She's just. She was just probably born to be a great actress. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. living up to that. She's like the Douglas Quaid. Not Douglas Quaid. Oh, no, it's like, uh, yeah. Jack Quaid. Jack, Jack Quaid was like, yeah, Dennis Dennis and Meg Ryan. Yeah. yeah this, who, we're getting into those like third, fourth generation uh, like no, that <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now your family has resources. So don't yes. let us down. <laughs> uh, this guy is kind of interesting. But yeah, having them just throw the Molotovs and stuff was nice. But it was weird that I'm just like, they only got one gun. I was like, yeah, yeah. no, for real. That, that was, but one they thing. had like twelve Molotovs. I know. Why did you just keep throwing? It? To be fair, they did have to get out of like the the weapons place like pretty quickly. But I was really hoping that they would have like really loaded up in terms of like how full many artillery. Weapons. Yeah, just be yeah. like, all right, here's a giant gun. I don't know guns, but like here's a big one, and then just like mow it down. But I don't know, whatever. And she, and she didn't shoot the head. And of course, you know the body's like like not there yeah oh yeah. Uh, yeah and oh and also to find out that vecna was the mastermind this entire time he's he is the mind flayer right yeah yeah to see that the spider thing stuff okay also do you think they had that at least planned by season two or didn't they added that retroactively that vecna or that henry was the um true mastermind behind the stranger or upside down and especially the mind flayer stuff 
I think they added that retroactively. Yeah. I do not think they had that plan by season two. <laughs> it wasn't until like maybe season three that they're just like, oh, hold on. We can have like a bigger bad character, you know? I feel like it fits so perfectly though. It did. It, it fit well though. It's yeah. so much like D&D, you know, where you keep leveling up till you fight the big boss. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It seems a little too perfect for yeah. it to be unplanned. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really convenient. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was really good. I, I think, if nothing else, I really do appreciate that they have like uh, an actual villain. Yeah, that is like has a voice, just motivations. Yeah, a voice, and like someone from the upside down who is actually uh, like linked directly to, to like eleven, eleven and the other characters, and and actually has like some you know some real presence and like stakes because yeah. the Demogorgon, cool, but. Like, they're all like I mean, mindless yeah mind flare you know same thing it's like they're all kind of like just around which is like a little unfortunate but yeah but now it's like oh look here's an actual character villain that's yeah. just being able to speak and talk to you we haven't had that since since really dr brenner right it, it, i i, I kind of wish like at least by season two like maybe you didn't see him directly but you saw maybe like his fingernails like on the edge of a screen or something yeah, like something. that just like a little tweet teases but it's fine it, it worked really well there's no plot holes yet yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah um and then you know and the max and the max storyline was relatively very satisfying uh what happened there and okay let's get into kind of um okay and then, oh let's um any last oh you know what the last thing i'll talk about is the russian storyline you know so we're going to kind of touch touch upon it later do you think that ultimately you know the reason they gave was like because they're hive mind and the shadow and stuff like that so we're going to do damage to them that it's going to hurt do you guys feel that was a bit of a stretch to justify the russian storyline i mean i feel like i can see the logic of it so it's not completely like no, BS. Completely. it doesn't like it's like i can see like okay this is something they have established before it's not completely out of left field so I guess it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, it just feels like they just didn't have anything for them to do. Yeah, I was like, I was like, like I know because I know before this this volume came out and the trailers, and we we're talking about like, oh, maybe they'll justify because you know my big complaint um, in our I mentioned in the last uh, episode because like because the Russians were such a big part and they had their own por- particle, um, you know, particle machine that opened up the uh, like the doors into the upside down. Um, like that wouldn't just disappear because that was just a small sum in the Russians, and then they and then in the trailer they showed that they had part of the mind flayer shadow, but in this one they're just like, oh, the mind flayer shadow just went in the creatures, and I was yeah. like, okay, cool, that I like I I thought there was something more or something like no. to uncover now, yeah, and I'm I'm like gonna be annoyed if that's a spinoff because they said they're gonna make a spinoff of the show stop what? it yeah and it's gonna be if it's like the like about the russians like or whatever and i'm just like uh, no i want to get to have that russian thing resolved in this show <laughs> like yeah not in a spinoff what if it's just about uh what's his name antonov antonov oh antonov. my uh, god yeah. oh that oh my oh my gosh no it's That's like him spin-off. being all like the shady officer he is and getting into hijinks and oh then working with, with yuri, yuri. <laughs> oh my gosh I like a gosh, starsky yeah. and hutch thing but you know not uh i hope not <laughs> yeah, but the thing is rose you might just be right <laughs> right on the money Jeez. oh Don't that's joke so like that. okay Don't joke well like that. all right so yeah i think but it was cool to see you know, Hopper get a sword and chop the Demogorgon's head off. Yeah. That was pretty cool. <laughs> he had Conan Barbarian's, Conan the Barbarian's sword. <laughs> yeah. That is a straight up Conan sword. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He actually it, aims for the head. Yeah. He like does. Nancy. Come on, please. You had a shotgun. He had a sword. He had a freaking sword. Still got the head. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. He did well. <laughs> I like to think that the the Russians were just really big Conan fans, and they're just yeah. like, "Hell yeah, dude!" I know. I'm not going to give him any sword. Yeah. Um. Did I miss something? How did that get there? Oh, I think it's, that was is one of the. You know how they like feed the they feed uh, the prisoners to um, the Demogorgon, yeah. and so they give them like weapons and stuff to like have like a little Specific bit of fun. What? Yeah, yeah, I know. One so of good, them got a sword. sword. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. That is a big stretch. <laughs> I think it's a big stretch. <laughs> Oh gosh, <laughs> that's hilarious. 
All right. Um, and then, oh, and let's get to the final ending. So after the earthquake and stuff like that. By the way, I really like that there's consequences like the season. Like it's irreparable consequences where they, people just can't forget. Oh, it was just another, you know, like uh, like a fire in the mall or whatever. People are leaving. Yeah. Life has changed. Yeah. Straight up like thousands of people died in the earthquake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was ripped well, apart. I think they only said like twenty people. Yeah, but I, I that's bullshit. I, yeah. I, I, I hope like, the next season they correct and like thousands. Of, dude, that was such a huge ass earthquake, and not thousands of people died. At yeah. that yeah. time, they only knew of that many that were confirmed yeah. dead. Because there was a lot yeah. of missing, right? Yeah, there's so. tons of people missing. Yeah, it's true. And we already know two of them were dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. Um. And okay. And I also did like the fact that it seems like okay. One is obvious that Vecna's alive, and he's a villain for season five. But also like the fact that Upside Down has now leaded into the regular world. Like, per- like seems almost like, at least for now, permanently. Yeah. 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 Even like the regular people will see. Huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At this point, there's no denying that there is a inter dark dimensional beasts that will be probably like f- flying through this, this hell sc- into, into Hawkins, you know, yeah. creating a hellscape on Earth. It's the it's snowing for Christ's sakes. I know. And yeah, what if people happens. are just like, and they're going to make up a thing. It's just like, it's just bad weather in Hawkins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I hear that, that's going to be hilarious. All right, let's get into uh, season five speculation. So, okay, back to the max death. Um, actually, I'll first just reveal the thing um, that I was mentioned earlier about the Duffer Brothers throwing shade at Millie Bobby Brown. So, Millie Bobby Brown was like, they took a cast picture. She's like, there's just too many people. We can't even fit everybody here. So, she was like, we need to kill like almost like at least half of these people. <laughs> yeah, she's like, and he, <laughs> She called the Duffer Brothers um, sensitive, um, sensitive Sally's. <laughs> yeah, it's like they're just sensitive Sally's. They they just don't. They're just too soft and can't kill anybody off. <laughs> like legit, like publicly recorded everything. This wasn't like in a joking tone. A little bit, but it was still kind of like maybe she should. Sh- <laughs> like, Every joke has a little truth in it, I guess. Yeah, I mean that's fine though, honestly. Yeah, like and then, <laughs> someone yeah. needed to say it out loud. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I'm glad that she did say it. Yeah, it was good. I give her props. What I've been arguing about for a while now. <laughs> and then the Duffer Brothers were like, uh, in in the in the podcast, um, they were like, "Oh, we heard that. We heard what she said. We're not sensitive. We thought about everything. We could have killed off a lot of people." And then, and then she's like, we could have killed. And then like, I think he was about to say we could have killed off 11, but he stopped himself short. <laughs> I thought they were going to at some point. Yeah. They had like Vecna had her up. She looked like freaking Jesus. Oh, like, yeah. see, see how they deal with this without 11, like permanently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Can never happen. And no, then, I, yeah. What if Max gets powers? I know. <laughs> I know she was touched by Vecna. Okay. Well, oh. now seems like the time for season five speculation. Yeah. Yeah. This is all part of part of it too. And they yeah, they okay. mentioned we're like, leading into it. They did like well, we can't kill off Mike because that's depressing. And that's, oh, that's what they said. <laughs> yeah, they said. Great. So Mike's not gonna die. Yeah. Well, at least in in this in, in, up to season four. Season Mike, five is all hands Mike's off. Mike's character describes our target demographic. He's you know simping over this like super powered girl. He's into <laughs> like nerd stuff. But he's just the heart. <laughs> just the heart. Time to kill him, dude. All right. And then going back to the Max thing. I know you say you, you think Max should have died. But I was yeah. okay with it. The reason why is because, one, I, I preferred actually like a season one character die to have more impact. And two, I think because I think it's going to be a major plot point for season five. And there's big theories that Vecna, because um, I, what's it called? I mean, his, I don't know if it's like because it's major. He's a hive mind and stuff. That he might be hiding in um, Max's body. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, like yeah. So Max would just go through more torture. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's horrifying. I like it. Yeah. yeah. So like with that, I think that justifies keeping Max around. If that's the thing. If not, then Max should have died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do it. Uh, I like it. Evil that's Max insane. versus. <laughs> I <laughs> thought they just had her live because of what Victor Creel. The first guy was able to survive just because he heard some killer <laughs> tunes. Yeah. Then, like, she can survive with her super powered friends and all their oh, forces. Yeah. Eleven is like God now, or something. Justified. Yeah, right? she's like, like she's not dead yet. <laughs> just pulls her out of. Uh, just revives her. She doesn't say anything to fucking Lucas. She doesn't mention no. it to anybody. <laughs> well, I mean, the second people think she can, you know, bring Revive other people, people back to life. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then we start having some issues. And it's like grilled cheeses level of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So well, what other speculations you guys have? Well, I was going to say, I, I want to ask you guys, like each of you to pick like one, what is your lock death? Who do you think is going to die 
in this final season. Oh, season come on. Five, uh, and then who do you think is going to like and then like, you know, another one where it's like, all right, probably this person I do think will die. And then who do you think could possibly die? Hmm. Do you want to go first? Oh, you know what? Um, hmm. I th- oh, that's hard. I think for who could possibly die, so yeah. far they're setting a trend, right? So Eddie died. The kids, they're the younger kids, so I feel like they don't want to kill them exactly. Probably. So Eddie yeah. died and Billy died. Both of them are older. They're practically adults. They're either about to graduate or should have graduated. Yeah. Um, and they're dudes. So I'm worried for Steve Harrington. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Oh. I'm super freaking worried for Steve. Oh. I don't want him to die. Oh, that would be heartbreaking. Oh, but, you know what? He's my lock. I think he might be my lock to really like if, if they're really? gonna kill anybody off because it seems like based on the after listening to the podcast, they're very squeamish about killing season one uh, kid characters. Oh yeah. god. And then I, I don't think they're killing off Nancy. Like she just seems like a lot of Probably for not. Yeah. Yeah. So Th- they already and, had her fake out death, so I think they already did that yeah i would say the same for hopper probably not gonna die because no. again, we, we've no. had the the wind taken out of it already it's like oh well he's already like done steve that. or jonathan just because they yeah. fit that like <laughs> stereotype and then also like this point like steve was really around to kind of give nancy that like uh love triangle Confet- problem yeah. yeah and then jonathan was i don't know gone Ugh. barely there not steve uh, okay okay Ro- so, I think Robin's safe. They're just, I, I don't, see, like, I don't think they're gonna kill off Robin. No, I, I don't think so either. That that would surprise me. Yeah, honestly. I would be shocked. So you're locking in Steve, Rose. <sighs> this is hard. <laughs> I, know, I, I don't want him to. He's like probably one of my favorite characters. Really yeah, don't but, want sure. Steve to but die. But just based on um like their habits and not willing to kill off kids, even Max, like who straight up legs ripped and open apart. If I had to survive. Yeah. If I had to guess, I would think Steve. Yeah. Because also the stuff with Nancy, he was all like, I still love Nancy. And then Robin's like, you still love Nancy. And then seeing Nancy being reunited with Jonathan, I don't know. He might. It would, it would, <laughs> it would, it would completely his arc. No. Like also like his uh, sacra, like he completely completing his arc of, Selfish um, asshole, rich kid to sacrificial superhero. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't you dare kill my boy. Okay. Oh no. Who's your lock? For me, hmm. I did want to say one of the kids. <laughs> if you had to pick a kid, Mike. Really? You think they would kill Mike? I mean, after hearing their interview, probably not. Because again, I don't think they. Unless have the, they just wanted us to think they would never kill yeah, Mike. I just don't think they have the cojones to. to no, I don't think they off. do. <laughs> yeah. No, they're like, no, we're not going to do it. So, ah, uh, it, it can't be one of the kids. Uh, if it's one of the kids, it may actually no. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I don't think Dustin either. No, Dustin. I think no, no, Lucas. Like, they love Dustin. If like, it's yeah. one of the kids, Lucas. It especially if Lucas. Max is yeah. on the line, dude. Yeah. If Max getting oh, her life yeah. back, especially if Fekna's still in there. Oh yeah. Oh, could that, be Lucas. Oh, that would be, be powerful. If Lu- I thought he might die again this season. At the yeah. end, I was like, I "Shit, dude!" He thought he was going to sacrifice himself for Max. Yeah. yeah. Um. So your so your lock is is it still Mike or no? <sighs> you know, I, I'm going to hold out hope. Yeah, I'm going to say it's Mike. <laughs> do you <laughs> think <hold> that? <laughs> do you think Will would sacrifice himself for Mike? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. So it could be Will. Oh, you know what? I would say. Oh God. Well, actually, no. You know what? No, you see the uproar from. Like different communities, if they kill off Will or whatever, like the whole barrier gay uh, well, trope. There's Robin too. Yeah, no, I'm saying no. I'm saying if they kill. It's like I feel like Will and Robin are like untouchable. Oh, Same I, with yeah. Lucas a little bit. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, okay, hypothetically, Mike is about to die. Will gives his life for Mike, and then that would also force Jonathan to change his ways because now he's just a stoner that doesn't do much. Yeah, that's true. All speculation. I, I think it's like, yes, we both we all agree that realistically and the just kid. narratively, it's time for like one of the main kids cast and main kids specifically to die. Because it's funny that no one has died after like four of these insane life threatening world ending adventures. The children yeah. always survive. Yeah. Yeah. Even the like teenager kids who don't look like teenagers, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh gosh. Mm. I mean, to be fair, okay, just we're not saying that there wasn't enough death in this 
season. A lot of people died. Yeah. Yeah. But just not any of the, the main core people. No, yeah. It doesn't count people. for the new people they just introduced this Chrissy season. Chrissy counts. Chrissy. Okay. Chrissy was like one of the more impactful deaths of Vecna's victims. Yeah. yeah. I don't even remember what Nancy's like co journalist kid what was yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know. Know. yeah uh by the way just a shout out to uh eddie's like one of his final moments when he's like this is for you chrissy that was beautiful yeah that was good. eddie's whole death was beautiful i was a wreck i don't know about you guys i was a wreck yeah. man oh it was yeah so metal and okay then, and i think i don't i think they might have added that after they, they said that um they filmed chrissy's like they they pretty much filmed um chrissy's death and i wrote it in before these two actors ever met. Yeah. So they said that like by the time they realized, oh, these two actors had a lot of chemistry. Yeah. They were like, it's already too late. We already like prepared. Chrissy's She's going to die. Sorry. Yeah. They said that that's the one thing that if they knew they would have changed. Their chemistry was amazing. Yeah. yeah it, it was, was so great. natural. Um, Adorable. Oh, but also just speaking on Eddie and emotional stuff. Um, His uncle. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was yeah. great. That's probably one of my favorites. Oh, my goodness yeah and dustin just explaining to him that no dude he was a hero like despite what everyone else says just know that he was a real hero oh yeah heartbreaking okay any last minute thoughts or speculations okay like or besides death like what else what do you think is gonna happen in season five it will be a full-on like upside down the the town of hawk and banding together to survive the yeah, threat. I I would hope that's the case. That just sounds Full super apocalypse. Fun. Yeah, yeah, I imagine that they're evacuating as many people as they can. Yeah, uh, and then the military will show up. It's going to be a full scale war, like they said, like they're you know uh, alluding to uh, that scientist guy. I forget his name, but he'll be back. Owens, yeah, yeah. Owens will be back. The military will be there, and it's going to be like this big fight at the end, and hopefully. Most, if not all, of the kids and like the main character and cast will actually go confront Vecna head on together this time as a team and be able to like finally take him down, which I'm sure they will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unless it's gonna get real dark. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> They'll take him down, but one of them will fall yeah. with him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh That'd gosh, if Eleven dies, she won't die until like the very end, and the yeah. plot twist: she's still alive somewhere upside down, <laughs> <laughs> hiding inside yeah. Mike's mind. Right. <laughs> final ratings, you guys. If you unless any of you guys final thoughts. Uh no, I'll just give my final rating. Honestly, I'm gonna put this one on the shelf. This was great. Uh I really enjoyed season four. I think it was an improvement over the last two. Yeah. Fantastic. What about you, Rosie? Are we talking about Just for part two, part two. Just both episodes? Yeah, both episodes combined. Yeah. Okay. On the shelf. On the shelf. You it would have been honestly if it was just the second one, I would have to think about it longer. Oh, yeah. But the first one kind of drags it down. It's on the show. Yeah. I have to say that these two episodes really did just like did like I because I was so down after part one. Um, yeah. But these two episodes really kind of just cleaned a lot of things up for me. And my rating for that one was like re like even like the lowest of bargain bin on TV. Justified, now, man. Yeah, but it has j j bumped up to premium streaming. For this one i was very close on the shelf because i'm like i'm already thinking about the cassette tape or whatever <laughs> that they're gonna release probably yeah, yeah. gorgeous but, yes um but yeah uh on the um premium stream for me hi okay guys tell us your locks who do you think will die next season give us your theories for next season and let us know which part of this uh season tore your heart to shreds yeah exactly thank you guys for we listening all know eddie Please like, subscribe, comment. We appreciate every single time you guys interact with us. Can I do a shameless plug? Sure. Also, if you want to know who we're talking about, Dade, he's uh, stars in Mystery Incorporated. If you want to compare and contrast how he looks oh, with, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> with the, real. I don't even know the guy's name, the psychopath jock. Uh, uh, yeah. Let us know. Or if matter. you guys think he looks like anybody else, let us know. Yeah. I know his character's name is uh, Jason, right? Jason. Yeah. Ugh. Just yeah. kidding. I love oh, Jason. We Mason have Dye Jason. is the actor's name. Plays Jason Carver. That's the character. Yeah. If you know anyone that looks like that guy, share in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.